Come on, Come on, everybody. Out. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out. Out. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Pray for my brother, please. I've got, please pray for my brother. Please stand up. Please. <laughs> I don't. I can't even explain what's happening to him. Since it's when? like mental, mental problem. For how many years now? <laughs> it, has, it has been long, sir. It has been long, please. Sir. Two years. It has been long, sir. on the screen there the man of God is ministering to that man with a case of mental illness we can see how the out. man is responding out to in the, the name of Jesus Christ oh come out of his body out. out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ out the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes. Let's give the Lord a resounding clap for free for what the Lord did again in the life of that man with the case of mental healing. He's free. Stand up, my brother. He's declared free brother. and healed Stand in the up. name You're of free. the Lord Stand Jesus. Up. Stand up. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Stand up. What's your name? Raphael. Raphael what? Sunday. The Raphael what? Sunday. Answered the question that the man of God asked a man that has been mentally derailed for years. I said that the Lord is here and the Lord is walking. So, can you see that Thank Jesus, you, Jesus is Thank alive? You, Jesus, Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus, for healing my brother. Thank you, Jesus, for healing my brother. We can see brothers hugging themselves after the Lord got touched. Someone that was mental. And it's seeing what is seen. Wing. How many minutes? It shall you know? Maybe two minutes, one minute. A second. A second. Because Jesus on the scene. Oh, Jesus. So we thank God, we thank God. I do well. of deliverance and holiness ma. I want to thank God for what God has done in the life of my brother before when we came before they brought him to the church on Wednesday he has been drinking he has been, he has been running like mental disorder for a long time so we just we used to go to the hospital we would carry the sticker we would pray with him like that along like we wouldn't bring the picture to church to pray with him too so we are in the house when they just told us they want to discharge him from the hospital so later he refused to come self he refused to stand up from the bed says not going because they say you must come to church so when he dragged him to church he was outside sitting down so me i went to work i was just coming from work that wednesday afternoon when i saw praying prophet praying for him <laughs> Travel Sunday man. What happened to me really that very day was a marvelous thing and it was a miraculous thing. 
with the Lord, the man of God touched me. The spirit that was disturbing me just flew out of me. Then I felt light that very day. Then I recovered myself. Since that very moment that I left here, you took me home. I was trying to tell somebody, how do I manage to be here? They now tell me that the ones who the disguise was, they brought me there because I did not have words of myself. They did not know how am I to get here. The last thing I can remember was how they were, there are many running. I too was running and I fell down. Then when I fell down, somebody held my hand up, lift me up. When I tried to when I opened my eyes, I saw a man of God. So then I was saying, ah, this is the church my sister normally comes. I've been here once over two years ago. This is the church. This is the church. How do I manage to be? Somebody have to tell me. Because I can remember that I was in at hospital. But now I'm in the church. But how I left the hospital down here, I couldn't go to tell. The only thing I can remember that way, somebody holds my hand and lifts me up. When I open my eyes, I saw Prophets, Prophets, GF, Adetu, Nice one. Out in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! Hey! Come out of his body! Out! Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out! Out! In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. I felt that I'm delivered. I'm delivered because I felt lose by live by something that was aiding me. I was lose somehow. I feel free. That's my feelings. See that the Lord is here and the Lord is walking. So we thank God. We thank God. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for you, my brother. We can see brothers hugging themselves after the Lord got touched. Someone that was mental. And it's see what is he So now, please tell us about the changes you have noticed in him since after Wednesday. After Wednesday, my, I discovered, even I went there on Thursday, so I discovered it's okay. He can sleep very well, ever before. And then what about his eating pattern now? He can eat very well now. What about the drinking aspect of he his life? He can stop. And his thinking faculty is good now. He's thinking He's thinking a straight woman. now. Yes, ma. As a normal person. Yes, ma. So, what can you say about this God? God is so wonderful. He's so marvelous. What's your name? Okay. Raphael. Raphael. Sunday. Answer to the question that the man of God asked Well, the life I was living it was through my friends, colleagues, you know, with, uh, that I moved with. So, when I moved with them, we drink together, that's the, where the beginning of the problem. So, and I thank good Lord that after the, the man of God had touched me and I've been delivered, I feel, I feel free, then I feel okay. I drink anything that comes my way, anything. I don't have favorites. I don't have. I drink anything. Okay, since last week the man of God I pray for me. I never feel I never feel testing, I never feel like seeing going back to drink. I never feel because at what at home, I was at home. Before I will not sit a second at home. I will just move. I will move out. They know me very well. I will not see a second. I will just move out. I like going out with my colleagues, my friends. But since the man of God have touched and prayed for me since last week, I got home. I was at home feeling just just feel myself feeling that the Lord has touched me and I just thank God for all his power for my life. On Sundays, before, before. and um, I attend White Garmin Church. I determined that I will be coming every every Sundays and every weekend that they have programs that will be coming because I have seen the healing power of the Lord for my life. I 
brothers and sisters over there that keep on drinking. My advice is that they should stop. They should try and stop because it's not a good habit. I send that is my advice. And if they can't stop on their own, what should they do? They should pray to God. There's no with God, all things are possible. They have to come to church. This is very church. When we receive the miracle of God, if the Lord, our Father in the Lord, the prophets, a man of God, touch them, a touch in their life, I'm telling you, it will have a change. The people out there, I want to tell you people that the man of God is being used. God is really using the man of God to deliver, to touch his people. And once it's touched, it touch in their life, they will never remain the same. Prophet Jeff Adichibem, anointed by God with the Holy Spirit, ready for action, is helping people and healing everyone who was beaten down by the devil. He is able to do all this because God is with him. Please subscribe, follow and like our pages on YouTube. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. God bless you. It is well, so well.